Yeah, I knew I'd be in trouble when I wrote this down. Dear Taylor Swift, You know, I really do hate to do this to you. I hate to roast you because you're one of my favorite people. I mean, you're hot, you're gorgeous, but I just, I had to do it. I feel like a bad person because of that. I feel like a bad person because I have to roast such a good person, you know what I mean? But that's what I do, that's my channel, I am for comedy purposes only. So Taylor, you look like what would happen if Lady Gaga happened to spill all her makeup onto a Barbie doll. You look like a nice church girl that went bad. Kinda like somebody else I know. You look like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Wait a minute. Yes, let's talk about all her relationships. She's had seven relationships within the past, what is it, eight years? Yeah, eight years. And the longest one of all of them has been three months. So she can't keep a guy for more than three months at the most? I mean, seriously, who writes an entire album based off of an ex? I mean, let's look at her song, Blank Space. The lyrics in that song are basically her saying that she's just waiting for that next boy to come around and dump her because of her crazy self. Just so she can write a whole nother song or album about it. She's practically begging for it to happen because she knows she's gonna make millions of dollars off of it. Which I gotta admit, I mean, it's kinda smart if you think about it. But even still, it's a little bit, uh, crazy. Sorry, Tom, I just had to let you know that you're next. And yeah, she is dating Tom Hiddleston, and I don't know how I really feel about that. I mean, if you look at the age gap, it's pretty big. She's 26, and he's 35. That's nine years of a gap. Now, I'm not one to judge. If, if that's what she wants, go for it. But I'm kind of pulling out the pedophile card here. I don't know, I just got a really creepy feeling about Tom's intentions being in this relationship. But you know what? I can already see the title song of this breakup. I low-key want to break up with you. Let that simmer for a minute. Like, really think about it, and you'll get what I'm trying to say. I guess she can kind of laugh, though, with her relationship choices. I mean, Kanye is dating Kim. I'm sure she's a lot better off with the few boyfriends that she's had versus Kanye and Kim's relationship. Yeah, I would never date Taylor Swift in her wildest dreams, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted an excuse to sing that. But speaking of her songs and her lyrics, let's talk about Shake It Off for a minute, okay? The lyrics to that song are extremely elementary. I mean, seriously, a five-year-old could have written those lyrics better. Hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. Baker's gonna fake, 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 fake. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it off. Like, really, I could have written that. Now, I get it. I get the message in the song. You're trying to tell people, hey, don't let what other people say get to you. And I applaud that. But the lyrics, yeah, it could have been a little better. Sure, it's meant to be out of fun, it's meant to be silly, but still. I mean, I know for a fact, Taylor, you've written better stuff than that. And what happened with you and your genre choice, really? Like, she started off in country, then she went kind of country pop, and now she's totally pop. Well, I guess when you want to make money, you gotta follow the crowd, right? Sell out! I know, y'all can think what you want to, but that's just what I think. Alright, guys, so that was my Rosa Taylor Swift. If you guys liked it, then like the video. I seriously do like Taylor Swift. She is one of my favorite people. I have nothing but the uttermost respect for her. But, you know, like everybody else, she's not perfect. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna be on my social medias, which will be up here in this corner. You can check out my last video down here in this corner. And of course, share the video with all the other Taylor Swift fans you may know. Let's just piss them off, you know? Like, just get them really mad, because I know that she's like Justin Bieber with her fans. Like, they worship her at her feet. Let's piss them off! And of course, subscribe to me if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one.